Hi, this is a, a quick follow-up video um, from my video on the uh, the repair of the Gauss meter. I mentioned uh, a Hall effect sensor that the Gauss meter uses for measuring the magnetic field, and, and I thought I would just do a quick video here on what a Hall effect, what the Hall effect is, and what a Hall effect sensor is. And so the Hall effect was uh, discovered in 1879 by Edwin Hall, an American. And uh, what it is, is basically the deflection of the charge carriers in a current by a magnetic field. So if we set up a current here, this is conventional current flowing in this direction. What I mean by conventional current is um, at some point down there in the history of electricity, somebody decided that current was going to flow from the positive to the negative. And what's actually flowing in a circuit, in a wire, or whatever it is, is electrons, which are negative, negatively charged. And so the actual flow of something that's moving is electrons, and it flows the other direction. So even though I've shown conventional current is going this way, the electrons are flowing this way. So what happens in the presence of a magnetic field, which I've shown here going through this slab of, this is a slab of conductor, it could be anything that conducts electricity, silicon, copper, whatever. Um, but anyways, we have a magnetic field that's going from underneath the slab out through it to the top, and it's perpendicular in this case to the slab. The electrons are moving this way, and they s feel an effect, a uh, force on them by the magnetic field, and they deflect off to the left here. And consequently, the um, holes, the positively charged particles, end up on this side. So if you were to take a meter, a voltmeter or whatever, and measure the voltage across here, you would get a voltage. And that voltage will be proportional to the current flowing through the device and the strength of the magnetic field. Also, um, the direction the magnetic field is pointing. So if, in this case, I've got it perpendicular, but if it's at an angle, one way or the other, um, the uh, effect on the electron's deflection will be less. If the field was going down through the slab of conductor, the electrons get deflected the other way, so the polarity will reverse. The effect, how, how much deflection you get, based on the amount of uh, uh, the, the magnetic field here, and it depends on the material that you're using as well. And um, it just yeah it depends on the the characteristics of the material. I won't go into any details on that. It's it's a bit bit complicated. The kind of Hall effect sensors that you might buy for experimentation um, are made out of silicon. They use a piece a chunk of silicon like this, <clears throat> and they'll have either three or four terminals on them for two terminals for biasing, passing the current through the um, the device and two terminals to measure the, the effect, the voltage across the device. And in some cases, um, one of the terminals on the side the, measuring the voltage, uh, the, the effect, or the produced voltage, and, and the other terminals that are used, one of the other terminals are used for generating the biased current, uh, will be commoned up. And that way you get, uh, or that way you'll have three different terminals instead of four. These have uh, uses uh, in many places, often to measure the, um, the rotational speed of something, for example, in your car, uh, knowing when the, where the crankshaft angle is in the car so um, the ignition system knows when to fire the spark plugs, or in a diesel engine, the crankshaft angle will be measured, or a certain position of the crankshaft will be detected by one of these sensors in order for the uh, computer that controls the engine to fire the uh, fuel injectors at the right time um, or to measure the speed of something spinning like a motor in a in a, a plant that's uh, producing I don't know could be an oil refinery or a, a pulp mill or whatever so they know the speed of a pump is pumping a fluid through the plant so anyways that's what um, a Hall effect sensor is all about, and the Hall effect effect is all about. Um, I hope uh, this went by uh, slow enough for you to understand and quick enough so you weren't get, getting too bored. And uh, um, if you want to get more details on it and get into the math of this, you can look up on Wikipedia and they will give you some more information on the Hall effect. 
But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.